Hi dolls, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on the new Mac Magic of the Night collection and um, I bet a lot of you thinking of why are you showing us this when half of it is sold out, um, what's the point of wasting our time etc. But the whole reason of this video is I wanted to share with you what I purchased and um, also show you guys some live swatches and my opinion on each product and also I'm going to sneak in some dupes of the products of what I have in my collection to help you guys if you did miss out on certain items then you can still have the same effect but with using um, other products which are permanent so if you would like to see what I picked up from the MAC Magic of the Night collection then just keep on watching why I have them in a duty free bag which is if you guys did see my um, Too Faced Le Grand V Paris video the one where I did the swatches etc in that video um, I did say that I did go to India so obviously I did have a peek in duty free uh, most of the stuff I did get offline and then majority of it I did get from duty free when I was in the airport so just gonna lay out what I did buy so I can show you guys some swatches start off with the eyeshadows first so I did pick up three eyeshadows and I did get these from duty free the reason why I got them from duty free was they are still available online I think three out of the five um, but I will link links down below and if I can find it anywhere else I will leave it down below um, the reason why I got these three was because I had to look at proper swatches I felt the pigment the eyeshadow seeing if it was worth it if I had something like that in my collection which I probably obviously do but still I'm a makeup junkie I love makeup so I just went ahead and brought it so yeah this is what the packaging looks like it is to die for this is definitely my number one packaging from MAC so it's a gorgeous turquoise colour so I did end up getting three of the shadows and to die for and these have not been swatched they've not been touched I've just literally bought them for when I went on holiday and I've just put them in the bag so they've just been lying there for a couple of weeks now just sitting there so the first shade I got was Ascent of a Glamour and this is a beautiful purple shade And they are really, really pigmented. So there you have that shade, which is beautiful. And then the next shade I got, which is Moon is Blue. And this is another beautiful shade. There you have that colour. It's gorgeous. Bam, check that out. One swatch, it just slided through. It is beautiful. So that is Moon is Blue. This one is Tonight's the Night. Which is that shade there. So they are the three eyeshadows that I picked up. And then I went ahead and just picked up one lipstick. They did have two of the lipstick which were permanent uh, just in the limited edition packaging and then they had two which were new I think or three um, again I will leave everything down below um, I do see I think the lipsticks are still in stock I think the only ones that have sold out are Dark Side and Evening Rendezvous which is the one I brought but I think you can get them on other websites again if I can I will list them down below but this bullet is beautiful this purple shade is my favourite so yeah I had to have it and this is what the shade looks like it is super beautiful very very different and it is the shade evening rendezvous and this is a matte finish so i've never swatched this before this is the first time it is divine let's go ahead and put it on we have that color there i think it's really nice very different um gorgeous gorgeous shade the thing that literally shook everything which were the highlighters and I ended up picking both of them which was Oh Darling and Shaft of Gold I did get these online I was a weirdo and did stay up all night until they were on and put them in my car and I ended up getting them so I was super excited about that so these are fortunately sold out I really do apologize but I'm going to show you some um, dupes of them so we're going to start off with Shaft of Gold 
and the packaging again is that blue colour like the eyeshadows and then that is the shade Shaft of Gold. So these are extra dimension skin finishes and um, yeah this is the pattern that they have on there. Ladies this is the first time I'm touching any of these, I haven't even touched Oh Darling, I haven't even looked at it yet. Since I come from holiday I've just kept it there and I wanted to give you guys the first impression first. God, that is so beautiful. So there we have a shaft of gold. We have the god of all gods. The, the most amazing highlighter that everyone's going crazy about, which is Oh Darling um, by MAC. So I'm really, really excited to swatch this. It is... Oh, just can't have words for this. I'm just so excited. Look how beautiful she is. So let's go ahead. Oh my god, I don't even want to touch it. It's so beautiful. Okay, be brave. Let's do this. Oh my god. She's flipping stunning. There we have. Oh darling. Oh my god, I need to put I need to put some of this on. Bam! Look at that shine. Oh my god. That is one hell of a shine. How shiny my nose is gone now, I need to blend that out. That is really, really shiny. I'm in love, I'm obsessed. Because look what happened! I ended up getting a back of so I'm really excited. I'm never ever 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 gonna go without getting a backup of this. I even if I had to pay hundred pound I will get the backup because it is beautiful. But luckily enough, um I ended up getting on eBay for forty five pounds. Um not it was still obviously quite a big price, obviously what I paid for this one here, but um the thing with this one was when it got released in the US, they were selling them on eBay before they even got released to the UK. And I knew everyone was going to go crazy, so I did end up buying one. So I'm glad I have a backup because you need one. So now the moment of truth, I'm going to show you some dupes. The old darling highlighter. And then here I have some dupes for you. So this first one, which is exactly the same, is your Kiko 208 watercolour eyeshadow. And then that one you have right there, which is Urban Decay's Single Eyeshadow in Easy Baked, which is that one there. And then you have your so you have your Wet and Wild highlighter in Hollywood Boulevard. Kiko 2A is an exact dupe of Oh Darling, so if you did miss it out, definitely go for that because it just looks exactly the same. So there you have it guys, I hope you did enjoy my MAC Magic of the Night collection video and do give it a massive thumbs up if you did and also don't forget to subscribe, it would mean the world to me and just want to say thank you so so much for watching, take care, bye!